tiger. So you don't want to be in the video? No? Come on, tiger. Anyway, if you're watching, I started from here, from the front, went through the steps over here, and you can of course go one step further and actually have one on the, what you might call it, over here. The reason I spread it out across these three tabs over here is so that you get a bit of a spread. If you're going to shoot geckos, well, um, yeah, I actually forgot. It needs. There's a couple of um. There's a couple of rubber bands that it actually has. That I use as springs to keep uh, everything functioning properly. Uh, I don't know if this is actually in the view of the bloody camera, but never mind. But yeah, two rubber bands there. There's also supposed to be one over here. I just finished. I just finished lacquering this thing, so I actually took these these bands off. So I wasn't using them. But basically, what it means is this one keeps the trigger going that way. You know, keeps coming back, and this one just to sort of generally bring this this other thing back. <coughs> so anyway, after you fired off that first shot, you go to the first one. See that? It, you bring it that up there, and then. Okay, it's recording again. I don't think it even matters, but if you want it to keep straight, just bring those up. No big deal. My other models didn't have this problem, it's just this particular gun is doing that. I don't know why. But since I make everything from scratch, I don't actually keep plans or anything. It's but that's enough at 10 feet to knock a, knock a gecko off the wall, which is basically what this gun is supposed to be for. What are you doing? Why are you over there? Never mind. So you can bring up the next one. Bring it down, and you've got the next one loaded. Okay. Obviously, something's gone a bit wrong with this one, but I don't know. That's that. The other part of the tutorial is um, loading my more standard guns, like this one, which is usually what I give to the kids. They're just doing it for, for the fun of it. This is actually probably the most complex one I've actually made. It's, I know it looks like one solid piece, but there's a lot of stuff going on inside. Um, it's actually got a safety. So this is on safe, I can't pull the trigger. Up there is single shot, and then the next one is actually, it'll shoot everything in one go. But yeah, okay, let's just put it on single. This is for you, Aslan, who keeps forgetting how to load these things. This is how you load it. Each time you put a rubber band over there, you pull it back, pull the trigger a little bit so that it goes, you can, it can flip over, and then you can put another one. These ones all hold six shots. You can do eight, but eh, it all depends. After after eight, you're sort of stretching the rubber bands so 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 much. It just uh, you're ruining the rubber bands, and you're not really getting that much power out of it. But yeah, that's a fully loaded six six shots. Mm, that's it. 
I made a better, slightly better version so that you're not stretching the rubber bands when it's not in use. You can load it up and a short version like that so that you're not really stretching them too much so they don't, they don't wear out over time. Then you can bring it up and you're on full power and Anyway, that's the video. Um, Iskander, your, Iskander, your rifle is actually better than this one. I've, I'm having some problems with this one because it's snagging over here. Yours doesn't have that problem, but just watch the first bit of the video and you'll see that how to load it. Okay? Anyway, have fun guys. Bye.